Hey guys, it's Rachel from the Lorene Lamb, and today I have a book review on White Oleander by Janet Fitch. I really enjoyed this book. I feel like I've read it eons ago though because this review is very late. This one was one I was looking at my list and I just kept going past it for some reason when like I look at my Goodreads challenge to see what books I have to review. Um, and I kept missing this one on accident, but it was such a good story. Um, anyway, if you're new to my book reviews or just need a refresher, I read books in five different categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of rereadability. So, with five being the best and one being the not as read rereadable. Yeah. Anyway, this book review will be spoiler free. This book also, I did see the film, and near the end of this video, I'm going to discuss that a teeny bit. Um, I'm not going to get too much into it because this is a book review primarily. So anyway, this book is basically about a girl named Astrid, and her mother gets a, in prison for murder, and she has kind of shifted around between um, a series of Los Angeles foster homes. Um, basically, each home is very different. There's different people in it. Um, she goes through a lot of different experiences, and... She really experienced these homes from, I believe she started at 12 to 18. And you see this progression of her life because not only is she growing up, but she's growing up um, and going for all these changes, but she's always in a new environment and that environment affects how, affects how she sees the world and how she grows up. So it's very interesting in that perspective as well. That is why I'm giving the plot a five out of five. I absolutely love the plot. This is one where I was sitting on the couch just glued to the book each home just felt like a different story. I really loved getting a glimpse into... I'm very nosy in that way where it's like I, I don't want to know how other people necessarily live their life all the time. But when I'm reading a story, sometimes like characters, you side characters, you don't really see their whole life. You're like, that'd be interesting to know what they do. And this book kind of opened the doors of certain homes and we got to see what went on in those. Yes, there was some moments where it was kind of cringy or I disagreed with the character, but it was very interesting to see her progression. Um, I found the story carried very well. It was interesting. Just when you were getting like kind of not a little bored, but it was getting a little bit stale at change up, something else happened. There was constantly drama and plot progression. There was no drifting. This was a very plot driven novel. It was character driven, but that character drive was also a plot driven book. So they melded together very, very well and they kept um, in pace with one another. That's also why, segue here, I'm giving the characters a 5 of 5. I really love the character of Astrid. Um, I love the character of Claire. Her mother was very interesting. Um, a lot of the homes, I really did like the characters we got to see. There's also another character, and I'm completely blanking on her name because I did read this a little while ago. Um, but this girl, um, she was one of the neighbors. Um... Olivia, that's her name. Olivia, that was another character I really enjoyed. And even the characters I ended up hating and not really liking because they did bad things, I still was very compelled to like them. And there was a like likability factor with this tragedy, and it was very interesting. Um, cover, I give a 4 out of 5. This cover is pretty good. Um, it's just, like... It's very aesthetically pleasing where it's like the black and white. It kind of looks like old Hollywood. But then also it's like just a back. And it kind of looks like changing like what I would... If I was going to say like write something on this, like what it reflects in the book, I'd say like kind of the changing of... Like it looks like the girl's undressing. It looks like changing of a dress, changing her personality. There's a lot of change. And that's represented by the dress. That's kind of where I go with it. So that's kind of why I like it. Um, I really love the polka dotted spine. And then the back of the book's just this black cover with white text and beige text. Um, overall, I get the book a 5 to 5. I definitely reread this one again. I do forget stuff, obviously, because so much happens in this book. It is, like, over 400 pages. But so much happens that you could definitely give this a reread and see something else or appreciate something else in the book. And that is partly to do with the main character, Astrid, who I really do like. Um, so after talking about the book. I really enjoyed the film. I thought the film did a great job. Um, I really loved it. They took a scene from the ending of this book and put it at the beginning of the film, panned over it, so you kind of got an overview of what's going to happen in the film. They did cut out some of the homes that she did go to, but they did that scene. I thought that was really great, how they took that ending scene, put it in the beginning, and it made everything come full circle, and then showed it back at the end. 
it was just beautiful piece of work and I really loved how they did include that part because there is some aesthetically pleasing things. Um, I'm not going to get into what it is because obviously it ruins the end of the book in the beginning of the film. Um, I thought the actors were all good in their roles and I just have such appreciation for the film. It's such a heartbreaking, heartwarming film. Mostly heartbreaking but kind of heartwarming. It has its moments. But anyway that has been my book review on White Oleander um, by Janet Fitch. I really enjoyed this and I hope to read more from this author in the future. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.